You might already be familiar with installing packages from npm registries using commands like these, but did you know that you can also install packages directly from your git repo? Reference your git repo URL and desired branch name or commit hash during install to have your package manager pull down your code. This will work out of the box for simple JavaScript code, but once you introduce any amount of complexity that necessitates a build step like TypeScript, your downstream applications will start running into issues. You could build your code and commit the output to your Git repo, but you'll have to remember to compile the code every time you push updates. And do you really want to pollute your Git history with unreadable compiled files? Some frameworks, like Next.js or Nuxt, will support transpiling your node modules in some capacity to help get around this kind of issue. This means your code doesn't need to be pre-compiled to JavaScript. But if you're not using a framework like that, you can opt for defining a pre-packed lifecycle method. When installing from a Git URL versus an NPM registry, dependencies are downloaded a bit differently. The biggest difference is that if your package contains a prepare or prepack step, NPM and Yarn will download both dependencies and dev dependencies, then it will run the prepack step so that any compiled files are available. The biggest limitation of installing via Git URL is the support for nested directories. With npm, the package JSON file must be located at the root of the repo, meaning this approach doesn't work for monorepos or projects where the npm package doesn't live at the root. But if you're using the latest version of Yarn, you can install workspace dependencies from your monorepo by using their own specification. This is one of many reasons you should use Yarn as your package manager. Should I do a future video on package managers? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you liked this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one.